And today, we're in Porbandar by a crashing ocean. Porbandar is best known as the birthplace of India's favorite son, the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. And we're here to find out what Porbandar has to offer in terms of food. One speciality that I know of is called a khajli, and no, it's not a skin rash. Khajli is one of the most favorite snacks here in Porbandar. But what we're looking out for also are the dhabas over here, and no, they're not called dhabas. They're known as porontha homes. And in the true tradition of Babu, this time round, no lifts. We're going to walk into the city. in front of the Anand Khajli shop and no, we don't know how to read Gujarati. It's written in English on the other side. And it fills me with pride and joy to be here where Bapu was born. We're in the Rani Bagh area on Mahatma Gandhi Road and the Anand Khajli is somewhere where everybody seems to come to get some snacks. There's different types of Khajli. There's masala, there's sweet, there's stuff with holes in it. And it seems to be everyone's favorite snack food. Mr. Vipul Koteja and his father owns the shop as does he and here are the different types of kaji. Three types, sweet, plain or namkin. This plain or namkin. Once again, the kaji, probably best known with tea. It's called chai ke saath So, khate hai matlab. Chai, chai, So, tea, coffee, whatever you like. Yeah, coffee, chai, 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 coffee, but it's not sweet. How's that? The one I've got is definitely not plain. It's got a few mustard seeds in it, some sort of spices. There's rows and rows of boxes already all lined up there, ready for someone to come and have them. And he's saying they sell about a 50 in a day. When you're hungry, when you're really hungry, you eat a couple of boxes, which I'm about to do. <laughs> we let him get on with his business. There's a whole crowd building up over there. Things are going to get not non-violent. If we don't let him go. We're done with our snacks. Now on to the main meal. Have you paid him? Yeah. <laughs> Run for it. Nice appetizer of Khajli on the crowded, noisy, bustling streets of Porbandar. We've come to the most highly recommended paratha place. It's called the Sri Gayatri Paratha House on Bus Station Road. This is the strange part, as we discussed earlier, why they call paratha houses. There's one over there, there's another one just down the road, there's another one opposite, and this one is the most famous one. All the dhabas are called paratha houses. So far, we've been able to determine they're not made out of parathas, they're made out of bricks. <laughs> Let's go and find out more about them and get inside. the takeaway counter and now that we're here it's closed <laughs> we don't want to be bad to you okay it's okay, okay it's okay Girish bhai is going to be serving us for the next 20 minutes but after that you guys can come in and get your meal in case you want to take a quick packing and walk away from here this is the place where you do it if you want to sit down and enjoy your meal come around we'll tell you how to do it what we call a paratha is called a thepla here and it's got methi which is fenugreek in it. Fenugreek. <laughs> very good, very good. We always like to use big words on the show like fenugreek etc. This is a So you say this is a So here we go again. Once again, we have recognized by the face of it, it's Kachyapari food. I'm tying myself up in knots over here. And what is this? It's a big, 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 big,